Hello and welcome to the second part of the Building It video. This time we're building something from the company Kazi or Kazi. Model number is KY10005. 3846 pieces. And it's a German railway gun, railway cannon, artillery, Dora or the big heavy Gustav, the biggest railway cannon or biggest cannon ever built from human hands. In the first video we came to page 22, building step 95, and we assembled around 1700-1800 pieces and we built two times this year. And this is massive. This is really, really massive. And I believe each 450 till 500 pieces here, each of these parts. We built four times this wagon here. And we still have around 2000 parts here on the building table. Okay, what have we learned from the build so far? First, much improvement in the stone and piece quality from Kasi. The stones are now on Shimpao Lepi niveau. So that's great. And the, the working stuff feels now like ABS from Sembo or Enlighten or so. And in older sets, just the, the material felt wrong, too hard, too harsh. And it made sounds when you put it together. Okay, second, very good instructions. You don't lose overview. So there's an improvement. I've built older Kasi two or three VD uh, tanks, and their instructions were not so good as and clear as here. So that's really good. And Part 3 we learned from the first video is this set is rep repetitive. Wow, it's so repetitive. You end building the, one of these and then it says build four times. So always move forward in the instructions and look if you don't have to build it twice, four times, six times, eight times, 24 times. Some building steps you might have to make 24 times. This year the same, you build it, half of it, and then it says, build another one. So always go forward in the instructions and look on the next pages if you have to build something more than once. Here these things with the X and the stone here where the X goes through, you have to build it 24 times. So. This set is repetitive, so repetitive, but uh, many, many cool dark bluish gray pieces. That's really great. Okay, I built further. Enough of rambling around. <laughs> I lied, sorry. <laughs> we only came to building steps, uh, site 17, building step 73, and already assembled 1800 parts. That's amazing. And we have the first 2x8 tiles. Three here and three there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I accomplished here this section over the tiles I showed you with these panels. Two panels on a two by two blade. Tuck, 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 tuck. Here one panel. And on the other side, it shows this here. This self-made panel, two 4x8 blades with three 4x4 four four modified tile. The problem is, you see that it's only here on two studs. And so it bends a little bit away here on the end. That's not so cool. 
And the next thing we are building is for there, the counterpart of this there, with these nice wedge tiles. These are actually really, really, really cool parts. And I will build this here four times and then make the panels here on these four sides. And then I hope it goes one step higher to the cannon. So we've made a cover for the other side, so both sides are covered now. And do you see this? The wedge plate is a little bit darker than the other plates. Only the wedge plate. See it here where this panel sits on. It's not light bluish gray and dark bluish gray, but the wedge material or the material of the wedge blade is a little bit darker. Okay, these are that's the only thing loose. The rest is you can slate somebody to death with this. It's really, really sturdy. Only here. To tiles. So we tiled our baseball bats here on there where it's not straight there are there's a long blade underneath and here is just on top of the bricks. Very solid. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely and how I showed you it's massive this thing here. Next step will or is we connect these two things here on with structures in the middle. Perhaps then we set it on our little railway wagons or we build a cannon first. I don't know, we will see. So let's connect these baseball pads. I build two of these cages here. And anti start on each side is made through the Technic bricks inside here. One, two, three, four. And they one left, one right. And then we can connect these two big sisters here. Yeah. We begin to assemble the cannon. And these are four. One, two, three, four, six by two by two bricks, and they have metal inside. They are really, really heavy. Here it, it's really loud, it's heavy. And to counterbalance the long cannon in weight, and we will see. So far I assembled the real gun, the cannon, and it's nicely made. Very long axle, and here the tires for making the shock absorbers of the big cannon, and here the high weight metal stones. So far everything okay. The Technic pieces are okay too. So, makes a lot of fun. The cannon has grown, the barrel of the cannon. And this here is just a round panel, like here. Just a little bit longer. These are nearly not hollow, but uh, it's the same. It has a tube inside, but in between there is no plastic, so they are lighter than the normal 2x2 two two round bricks here. So two of the light bluish grey, then 
one of the dark bluish gray and then two by two round bricks and you see they have another color that's the same as with the wing with the wedge plates perhaps you've seen in part one of this video or was it part two i don't know but here it's the same okay the lower one the darker one is must be nearly or nearly the the lego dark bluish gray so just buy five round rigs or you give your imagination to signal that are different steel parts so they have a different color perhaps you have heard these axles are a little bit too thick you have really problems pushing the round bricks over it you need a lot of strength really a lot of or you do it like I did it cut go through with the knife and get a little bit of plastic from the axle and then it goes smoothly I did this here took me 20 seconds or something like that I don't know if you can get so long axles over bricklink if Lego have them I don't know but if you can't get them from bricklink just use a knife or a cutter and the problem is fixed so the barrel of the cannon is finished it's long and it's a little bit bowing down in the front because both long axles are meeting here and you see it but there's no other way to do this without bending in Lego I don't know I don't think there's another way but perhaps go to your lo local tool store or supply store for mechanical things perhaps you find a long axe in, 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 made from steel in a home worker market or something I don't know tool time and get a axle made from good steel then you don't have the bending problem so the next step is building this structure here and you see a lot of studs on side and so we can panel this here the panels are made from wedge plates normal plates round plates and I believe I will build the same here for this side here is a axle and perhaps the cannon will be placed in between two parts of this I don't know we will see does Lego have this modified tile or modified plate I don't know I haven't seen it from Lego but it's a useful piece please write me in the comments if Lego has this thank you yeah, like I thought the structure here holds one side of the cannon and I make another one and together they will be attached up there okay so our barrel is now here attached in the structure and here we build a new one with doors on the side transparent windows a little bit scratched and a little bit milky but what you have to look exactly are here we have two by five and one by five plates so if you build a lot of lego you just watch a sec and think yeah it must be a six too long for a four so it must be a six if you're a more normal lego builder then you take your six and thing and start to think oh what's wrong here okay just take care and here's an interesting building technique these here are really attached to studs to studs this here lays just in there and then it'll be fixed or saved with this here that's a little bit insecure but with the tiles on top it must be no problem so this little cabin is finished and we used a lot of these anti-tiles or tiles with studs they are so brilliant only for 
for these 50, 60 tiles with studs, it's worth to buy the set for, for the pieces. And here you have a lot of 2x8 tiles over blades. Here again, the tiles with studs. And we are paneling this thing. Now we see what it will be. I don't know if it will in this position or in this position. We will see. Uh, I built this here two times. A tunnel. Outside we have a lot of the 4x3 modified tiles and other tiles. And here a lot of them. And the first one we attached here. And the second, this here will be attached, of course, there. And then we made another construction between the parts to save them. And I hope then we will assemble it together with the long barrel, the cannon part here, to this. I hope so. Yeah, parts, still 500, 550 parts over. Okay, so this here is new, so both of these channels, it's like a canal, I had a smaller camera, can make the flight on the Death Star, okay. And this here, and now I have two missing pieces. But it's no problem, I have them in my collection. So two of these modified blades were missing there. No big deal. Okay, this was part two of building the Katsi railway cannon Dora from World War II. In part two, we finished here the under construction. We finished the barrel part, cannon barrel part, and we start building the structure here. And I believe this will be attached there. And the free space here is for that. We will see. We will see this in part three. Thank you for watching. I hope part 1 and part 2 and part 3 will be the rest parts, 400 parts and the final review, my opinion and showing you the cool mini, yeah cool, that's perhaps the wrong term, the minifix. You will see why they are, it depends on your world side are correctly or or are funny or absolutely politically incorrect, that's your decision. You will see the minifigs in part 3. Thank you. Have a good time. Bye-bye.